So yo guys, in today's video, these are some cards I've been waiting nearly two years for. Obviously, I sent these in 2022. I know 2022, there was no issues with PSA, the COVID hype or whatever. But there was an issue with the middleman I used. I used a guy called Turcam, uh, which I promoted in a previous video. And obviously, I've removed that promotion out of the description of all of those videos. And I thought I'd let you guys know here. I sent them then, 2022 July, and it's now March 15th. Uh, 2024 and you can even see the certs is not adding up like 77 million cert is around summer 2023 so it feels like he sent them a year after i'm going to ask him about this but these cars are very special to me because these are my arita autos which i got done in 2019 i've done a whole video uh where i met him i actually didn't upload this video this video was made for made for my main channel because 2019 i didn't even have this channel uh, but I was doing Pokemon content on my other channel and I recorded it and I didn't upload it because I didn't think anyone would like it But yeah, I ended up uploading it on this channel found the SD card. I'm glad I didn't delete the footage uh, I just put it up there just for memories. Luckily I have the footage there as well I haven't been able to meet him since I know he's done a lot of events since etc Just haven't had the opportunity to get a ticket. I know he was in Germany recently I didn't get tickets that I really wanted to but I do have four autographs back from 2019 this is pre-covid this is pre-hype this is there this is when there was no cues for arita autos and as you can see oh let's what are we going to do we're going to do the true do charmander first yeah charmander first right the evo line so as you can see i have a mixture this is the japanese arita auto and this is a i don't even know this is a fourth print fourth print charmander okay uh this Charmander actually bought at the event it was hyper japan uh, they haven't had a Rita since the, uh, 2019, but back in 2019, they had uh, a Rita there, and I literally just went down for that and got these autographs. There was no queues. You could pay for as many autographs as you wanted. Uh, I got the free autographs because uh, I didn't mind having my name on there, but I could have bought so, so, so many more autographs and flipped them and whatever. But you know me, I'm always a collector first, as you can see, 2019 there as well uh but auto 10 let's go that's the that's the results we want to get as you can see the cards weren't mint obviously vintage cards i actually bought off this off a guy there i didn't have a charmander on me i had one binder on me and i didn't have all my cards but then i was like oh yo let's get that original base at charmander and that line graded so you'll see what we have here so yeah let's go let's go okay we've got a charmeleon again fourth print that's pretty cool there's probably less population than a uh, unlimited regular print right but yeah, if you don't know four prints it's 999 to 2000 which means a uk print but we've got an auto 10 on this charmeleon which is nice so at least the grade results is worth the wait i guess but yeah something fishy then i thought i'd put that out there and let you guys know like watch out for this guy i know i mentioned in previous videos and i know people have some issues with them a lot of people have some issues with their grading with them but I'm just glad to say these are finally home. They're not lost. At least at the end of the day, he did get these cards back to me and not run away or run off with them, which I'm really happy about because cards like this, it, it can't be replaced, you know. Other cards can be replaced. These these definitely can't, but Tommy in a 10. Let's go. So we do have an Evolution Sherazad. Unfortunately, not the base set. There was no base set available at the show, and unfortunately, I did not have a base set. In 2019 like early 2019 or mid 2019 just because it was, it was a little bit expensive always try to hold out try and get a good deal and then obviously they went up in 2020 uh so yeah and unfortunately i did not have one but this one is a dual auto which is crazy we all i forgot to mention we got the sketches we were getting the sketches before they were hyped to get but yeah we got a little charmander there charmeleon and then this chairs are definitely a fire one again guys 2019 let me know yeah july 2019 there we go the date's there um but yeah let me know if you got some autographs at this time did you get them at this hyper japan event or have you got any orders in your collection or would you like them let me know down in the comments but oh mint nine on the auto there so let me see where i can see yeah the pen is not solid in some areas but i will definitely take a mint nine these cards are not for sale like i said i got them done with my name just because i knew i wasn't gonna sell them. these are like definitely collection cards 100 especially getting them back signed back in 2019 when you had no hype for it and you just went because obviously only if you collected only if you had joy for the collection and enjoy the collection this is when you get in orders you see people getting orders now but back then guys back then tell me you got orders back then 
Uh, but yo, let's go, let's go. And then boom, one of my favorites. You guys know how much I love Unbroken Bonds. And obviously, Unbroken Bonds, one of the sets. And Tag Team, one of the sets, already got me back into the hobby like I do today. Like I collect today. Like it's all thanks to the Tag Team era and specifically Unbroken Bonds. Uh, but if you don't know, every single regular GX is illustrated by Rita. And I have this one signed. I, I wonder if this is a popular one people get signed. I see everyone always gets these signed, right? Like the one Sierra stuff. But do people get this one signed? Because it's just a regular GX. But I love this art. And it's a 9 as well. And you can kind of see. Yeah, for sure. That's going to be a 9. You can see the stroke on that there as well. Like you can see it. So I'm happy with the 9s and 10 orders. Obviously, I didn't grade the cards. This one I could have went for a jewel, maybe I could have been like ten nine, maybe, but um, because that's obviously a modern card. But yeah, guys, finally have these back, which is crazy. Make sure to not to use Turkam Game House for your submissions or in general. Uh, like I said, I don't think they are doing submissions anymore, and they actually did end up getting to me back instead of running away. So I'll give them that. But yeah, I just wouldn't use them anymore, deal with them anymore. And I just thought I'd let you guys know because I know I have promoted them in videos, but I have removed it from all descriptions of those videos. Uh, but yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, guys. Again, these cards are, again, irreplaceable. So glad they are back home here. So guys, like, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.